What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally won our 8th badge. Finally! It's been what, July, August, September, like 7 months? Holy crud. 7 months? 6, 7 months since we started this adventure, and now we're headed to the Pokemon League, and uh, well, yes. Before you go to the Pokemon League, someone right here is gonna notice. What the hell? Oh crud! Barry, of course, he's a uh, he wants to be the toughest trainer. Yada yada yada. He wants to be like his dad. Yada yada yada. I do not care, Barry. I do not care. Why won't you just go away and rot somewhere? There are there are literally many people tougher than you. Many. Jupiter comes to mind. Oh my God! And then Jasmine right here is like, was that your friend? Yeah, she, it made her happy that we got along somehow. No, I, I don't get along with them. Don't get that wrong. Don't get it twisted. And, uh, well, of course, she's happy to see this and uh, yada, yada, yada. She gives us the HMO7. Now, if you guys don't know who this is, this is the gym leader of uh, the Olivine City Gym. But this right here is a little bit more of like an... Like, back then, it was like an indication of what the next game was going to be for the 3D or the Nintendo DS which was Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold and yes guys we will be playing that uh, at some point in our little remakes uh, adventures and stuff right now we gotta get done with uh, Pokemon Leaf Green and this which you know I think I'm handling it pretty well I mean many of you guys are enjoying every single episode I guess I hope I, I don't know so as you can tell this episode's going to be a little bit long just because uh, it's this whole Freaking, uh, you know, river right here, or lake, or ocean, or whatnot, body of water. And I'm just gonna be battling everybody. I know, I could be using a, a speed forward and all that stuff just to get to the next badge and stuff, but eh, I like to show my whole body of work and stuff. Just edit out, edit out the unnecessary battles, which is usually a uh, wild Pokemon, but still, you can't blame me, right? And uh, as you can see, Lumi, Lum, Lumi, Luminion. I always call it Lumion. Luminion! Big Eared using uh, Aqua Ring and all that stuff, and then Captivate. What the hell is Captivate? Oh, Lord. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, so let's go with uh, Drain Punch, of course. Let's get it. That's right, that's right. Now, if you guys can't tell, I am still watching the Niners game, okay? Uh, me recording, me voice recording will be, is on the day of, uh, you know, the Niners Green Bay Packers game. So, I'm a little stressed, I'm a little nervous because it's been, uh, you know, a good six, seven years since I've seen the Niners go to the, the Super Bowl and, uh, miserably lose! No thanks to you, uh, no thanks to you, Ray Lewis. But anywho, yeah, a little stressed, whatever, so if I get off topic, it's because of that. And if you guys, uh... Don't mind. I'm gonna say a few curse words because you know it's it's just a game. That's how I am with football, guys. Anywho, as you can see, kick a butt, green uh, Giga Drain on the Bieber Rock. Bieber Rill. That's a that's a fun name to say. Bieber Rill. So it really is a fun name to say, but it's fainted. And Donatello is kicking butt right here. And uh, well, a Zoomer Roll is coming out. It's been a nice uh, minute since we've seen a Zoomer Roll and all that stuff. And, uh, well, we're gonna do the same thing. Giga Drain all the way! Yeah, buddy. That's right. That's how you do it, guys. No mercy. And, uh, again, there's a lot of trainers in this section right here. You don't necessarily have to battle them all, but if you guys want that experience points, then, you know, by all means, battle every single one of them. You do have the VS Seeker uh, to rematch most of these guys. That way you guys can train... Uh, can train before the Pokemon League. And look at that. Azumarill has been defeated. Donatello, you are kicking some ass right now. That's right. Okay, so uh, let's see. What's next? Okay, more Pokemon trainers. Now, at the creation of this... Or at the... Yeah, at the creation of this recording, not the voice one, but the actual gameplay, I did not have the Pokemon guidebook uh, for Pokemon Platinum. If you guys don't remember, I think I said it in either... No, I said it in quite a... I said it in a, quite a few episodes, including in my Pokemon Leaf Green. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I did buy, or I did purchase myself some uh, Pokemon guidebooks. You know, those big old guidebooks for the game and all that stuff. 
And, uh, let's see, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, yes. Uh, let's see. For Leaf Green, I actually... What did I do? But, yeah, Leaf Green, most of the gameplay is me reading the guidebook while I'm playing it. Just to make it a whole lot easier for me. Just to, like, you know, cut down on time and all that stuff. But right here, I'm battling everybody. Searching every crevice of this whole adventure. Yeah. So, that's my bad right there, guys. Huge my bad. And, uh, this guy right here coming out with the Remoraid. Alright, you a-hole Pokemon. Let's do this. There we go. Dragon Claw. Victorious. Fuck yeah. Alright, okay. No more. And then, uh, it's gonna come out with a Mantine. Okay. Alright, Mantine. Bring it on. Believe it or like, I didn't even know this at the time, guys, but, you know, for me to be playing Pokemon, uh, for as long as I, I was, didn't know that Mantine is also a flying-type Pokemon. Yeah. Very surprising. Mind-blown. And, uh, there you go. Toothless. You are, uh, victorious. You are awesome. And all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. There's another Pokemon trainer right there. Okay, so, again, we're gonna be battling non-stop, getting trained, getting ready for the Pokemon League. It's, yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. And here you go. Oh, wow, we got a double battle. Okay. Okay, hopefully they don't have six Pokemon with them, because if they do, then it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Okay, so here we go, a double battle. And, uh, yeah, they have six Pokemon. What the? F oh, God. Okay. Bring it, Wingle and Meryl. Bring it. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. We're intimidating the crud out of them. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna destroy them. Uh, let's go with Thunder. And, uh, let's go with Giga Drain. Okay, and, uh, yeah, of course, gonna miss the first time. You know, a little bit of rain could have helped. That kind of stuff, but, nah. And, uh, oh, there we go. No more Meryl. And what's next? What's next? It's gonna be going with the pursuit. You gotta love that one. Okay, so let's see. Coming out with a wingle. And all right, let's go ahead and uh, well, let's do this. Let's go ahead and use the rock climb. Rock climb. It's uh, well, to be honest with you, when it comes to HMs, guys, few HMs come to mind. I don't know why Pokemon created it, but I, 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 you know, the situations, they have to be diverse, but Rock Climb seems to be one of those, uh, one of those HMs that's just, like, very unnecessary. It really is, because it's just, like, you're just climbing a freaking, uh, 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 a hill and stuff. I mean, you can go up a, a hill by just, like, the road, but that's pretty much it. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Which HM do you think is the most uh, necessary HM out there? I've already told you guys how much I, I like. I, I've already told you guys what, what what I think. But if you guys have your opinions, comment down below. We would like to get a chat going, you know. That kind of stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty. So Thunder does it. Artillery. What the hell are you doing? Oh, I thought that was artillery. Didn't read it. It was just me. It was Donatello and uh, Golduck. Defeated like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, uh... Uh... Freaking, uh, Screech. You know, you could attack me. But no, I didn't, I didn't know Artillery had, uh... Had Bullet Seed. Really didn't know. Alrighty. And, uh, well... It, it, it went three times, but it didn't work. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go with this one. Oh, we're just going to be taking these hits. No biggie. And there we go. That's right. That is how you do it. And, uh, well, we're just waiting on that avalanche. And touchdown! Is it touchdown? Touchdown, Niners! Yeah, buddy! Woo! I'm sorry, guys. I'm just watching the game right here. They are currently winning 16-0. to Let's go, Niners! Woo! That's right. I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. I am multitasking, and that's a good block right there. Holy crud. That is a very good block. Okay. 
Anywho, back to the game right here. Kicking some butt. Pelipper. Looking like a big old, big old quack quack. That's right. And, uh, well, let's go with the crunch attack right here. And, uh, oh crud. Seriously, Thunder? Why couldn't they make Thunder, like, accurate, accurate? With, like, without uh, weather effects. That's what I'm talking about. And, uh, yeah, buddy. 17 to 0. Oh, yes. Niners. Now, I'm just letting you guys know right now. Uh, depending on when I upload this video right here, you guys will already know who's going into the Super Bowl if you guys have any interest in it. But you're going to hear it from me right here, right now. I do feel like there's going to be some collusion, some cockamamie bullshit going on. I kind of feel like the NFL is going to be uh, is going to be uh, rigging the game so that the first two teams that ever made it to the Super Bowl, which was the Green Bay Packers and the Chiefs, and don't forget Allstate, you know, the quarterbacks, they make it to the Super Bowl. So you'll probably see my mood change from here and here because we got nine episodes, guys. Anywho, back to Pokemon right here. And as you can see, kick a butt. All righty. Who's next? Speedo Torpedo. Well, he's not really, really wearing Speedo, but he does have a Tentacruel. Okay. Let's go, Hydra. Number four. And, uh, well, good move right there. Hydra number four does have, uh, does have that clear body, so, yeah. Clear body. Prevents that Intimidate. So, we're, we're, we're good. We are good. So, let's go. A Thunder Attack right here. Alrighty. Okay. And there we go. Finally, Thunder works, but leaves Tentacruel with just one more HP and just a little annoyed right now. Very annoyed. And, uh, ah, uh, snap. Ah, uh, snap. And, uh, we're confused now. So let's go ahead and, uh, try and hit him with a Surf. And, yes, sir, it does. Okay. It's not super effective, but it's still something. Okay. Makes him faint. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so that's another person down, and uh, no more to go. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch them out right here. And uh, let's see. Now we're gonna we're gonna have to get to that item right there, and I try to figure out how to get there. I think the secret entrance right there. Yes, there it is. And uh, let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. Needed in order to make that thunder attack a little bit more accurate. So now, let's move on. We still got like a good nine, ten minutes. Eleven. Don't know how to count. Really don't. Okay, so let's see. The repeller has worn off, so now we gotta get something else. Uh, believe it or not, I read right here, guys, that you can actually, uh, read right here, guys, that you can actually uh, capture a whale lord. Right here. Not, not lying at all. If that's true, it is very, very, and I mean very rare. Super rare. So rare that, you know, you're gonna have to, like, yeah. So rare that it's gonna, it's gonna take you a while to actually find them. So here we go, let's get this. Let's get this right here. We're going against a Flotzel. Alright, Flotzel, bring it. And, uh, Flotzel, you're gonna get that return because, yes, Starblade loves me. And Starblade love proves even more powerful than yours. Hell yes. Alrighty. That's right. And uh, let's go ahead and switch it out to guy number two. It needs more loving right here, too. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's do this. Tentacruel, you, you use nothing. You are nothing. So let's go with Psychic Attack right here. Now, calm down. Calm down. I know what you guys are thinking. Especially now that like I'm just realizing this. Uh, I did take away Psycho Cut away from uh, from Gaia, yes, yes, but again, remember, like I said in the last few episodes, I eventually start learning about the stats and uh, the moves that, it, that is incorporated, I, you know, and thankfully to one of my subscribers right here, I can't remember the name, literally told me that, hey man, uh, Gaia number two, uh, or Gelade, its physical attack is much stronger than its special attack, so uh, I would use a Psycho Cut if I was you. Which I will, trust me guys. I make some modifications before I get to the uh, the the actual Elite Four, so this is just for show right here. And I do apologize if I screw the, uh, anything up for you guys. <laughs> or if you guys are like freaking out on me. Damn it, Draven! Learn its stats! Pick the right moves. Alrighty, and uh, 
taking on Swimmer Crystal right here. She's looking pretty good. And here we go with Starblade. Starblade intimidates. And Wingle is looking like, oh, no, no, no. We're going to get destroyed by the power of love. Mm hmm. Or kindness. I don't even know. Whichever one works. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. You're toothless. You're looking cool. And he's going to be coming out with the Sea King right here. And, uh, well. Let's go with Donatello. And uh, the age-old question again. If the Sea King is a female, wouldn't it be called a Sea Queen? Just want to know. Pokemon didn't really think this through. If Sea King was female, would it be called Sea Queen? Because if I had a female Sea Queen, then, uh, yeah. I would, uh, name it Sea Queen. Yeah. Or is it one of those, uh, Pokemon... One of those creatures that changes gender because it, it does happen. I, I don't know. Like, where did I hear that? Science class? Probably? I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Would it be called a Sea Queen? Maybe. I don't know. Let's go. Let's do this. And, uh, I'm ready. No more Sea Queen or Sea King or whatever. And look at that. Level 57, and, uh, we're learning Leaf Storm right here. Okay. Let's see, what kind of a move did... Oh, crud. Okay, so... It's a very powerful move. Sharply reduces its special attack and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, Giga Drain seems more beneficial right now at this point. Instead of uh, Leaf leaf Storm. And, uh, let's see. Ah, we got trainers waiting for us right here. Okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. He probably does have, like, a fighting type or something. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, time to do it. Bring it. Sailor Zachariah. Man, he's got himself like a real religious name. Zachariah. Zachariah and Jebediah about to beat the living crap Araya on me, right? Nope. Return for the win. Where's it going? Where's it going? Yes. No more. Defeated. Awesome. And, uh, oh, he's going to come out with those Gastronon. So this is a good chance to use another Pokemon right here. And, uh, all right, what the heck happened there? Gastrodon. Ah. That's right. That's right. Okay, and uh, here we go with a Giga Drain. And that's right. Haha. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on. That's right. I win. No more Gastrodon. Okay. So everything's going well right now. I'm happy about it. And he's going to be coming out with a Macho. The Pokemon that I initially predicted he would have actually had. So let's go right ahead and uh, use Starblade right here. Okay. Machoke. Starblade. Digivolve 2. Or DNA Digivolve. You guys remember that? DNA Digivolving. And uh, look at that. Brave Bird. I wonder... Oh, yeah. I... I think I taught that to Starblade by the word or the, the move rememberer or something. I don't even know. And uh, yes, you get hit with recoil. So that's a bit of damage that we're enduring. And uh, Toothless, yes. Gains experience points without doing anything. Yes, sir. Everything's going well. And uh, oh, there's an item right there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, yeah, we got ourselves an Ultra Ball. Very good. We may need it to capture more Pokemon because we still got more Pokemon to capture, you know? That kind of stuff. I'm already thinking of like a volcano that I don't want to go to. Yeah, I'm dreading. Actually, guys, when we get to the, the post game stuff, I'm kind of dreading that because it's a lot of stuff. It really is. And I, I already know that you guys are going to be asking, are you going to be doing the, the, the uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the battle from here over there? I, I don't know. I just don't know, guys. I, it's just it's too much energy to waste on, on the Battle Frontier and Pokemon Platinum. But, you know, I, I like I'll make sure to keep the same game, same files and everything. If the mood hits, it will eventually happen. And that girl did not see me. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive ball. Mm -hmm. But like I said, guys, uh, we, we do have an adventure after we defeat the Elite Four. There's uh, quite a few trainers, quite a few things that we need to do. Like, believe it or not, Team Galactic is still not done. Cyrus is the, uh, he just left. Disappeared off the face of the Earth. Literally disappeared off the face of the Earth. Uh, shoot. I, I was talking about a volcano. 
desert, a desert, a forest. Uh, Magikarp Resort. I just realized that. A Magikarp Resort. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we got quite a few things that we need to do, but we'll be fine. We'll be fine, guys. Hopefully we'll get done. Like I've been saying, hopefully we'll get done by the end of January. No, um, definitely February will be the end date. And we will be starting with Pokemon Black. Hopefully. I don't know. I need to take a small break from this thing, too. And here we go. What can we do right here? Do you know I was crowned? Oh, okay. So she, she's a beauty contest winner, I guess. All right, bring it. Let's see what we got. Cassandra wants the battle, and she's coming with her Lumion. Luminion, I should say. All righty. Toothless. Let's do this. Dragon Claw. Let's get this. Mm -hmm. Going all the way. Oh, crud. Oh, God. Should have done something with that. Okay. And, uh... Alrighty. Do that. And Dragon Claw does it. Alrighty. Alrighty. And, uh... Well, now we're just going to be switching it out right here. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon with a new... More improved Pokemon. Alright. So here we go. And, uh... Well, let's see. Coming out with a Pelipper may work, may not work. Let's see, let's go with uh, Shockwave right here. And, uh, alrighty. Shockwave, will it do it? Can it do it? Finish him off, finish him off? Yes, it does. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, you got nothing. Nothing on me. And just like that, defeated like a dog. Okay, so who's next? Oh, yeah, we're going to be grabbing this item right here. And, uh, okay, so that's a rare candy. We could use that for something else, maybe. I don't even know. For another Pokemon. We don't need to evolve any of our other Pokemon, right? I don't think so. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, switch out our Pokemon. Nah, you know what? Screw it. Very uh, impatient. So let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. And, uh, yes, I know I can surf, but he just wants to swim. Okay, let's see what you got. Swimmer Troy coming with a Gyarados. Okay, saving the best for last. Speedo Torpedo and his Gyarados. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Dragon Claw. Probably should have used a... Uh... Yeah, probably should have used it. Yeah, yeah, probably should have used the other move. Okay. And, uh, yeah, 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 there's an Aqua Tail. Doesn't really work on me, but, you know, it's still something. And here we go. Rock Slide. Oh, yes. Rock Slide does it. No more Gyarados. All righty. And uh, would you look at that? Toothless grows to level 52. It is learning. It is gaining levels. I am happy about that. That's right. Good Pokemon. Good Pokemon. And, uh, well, there is the Elite Four. Stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going up to this waterfall and doing everything else in between. See you guys.